Hello, good evening. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Fine, fine. Fine. Ready, ready for a new day? Yes. Excellent. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call attendance right now. I know some people are not here yet, but uh, it's time to start. Okay, tell me present. <clears throat> Beginning a new month today. April. April 1st. Adriana Marcel. Present teacher. Analicia. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Uh -huh. Claudia Carolina. Diego Batres. Diego. Ya no va a tardar en conectarse, teacher. Ok. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Uh, today I will be a listener. Okay. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Jonathan David. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Karen, no. Ka Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin René. Kevin. Present, present. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher, puede estar de oyente. Le aviso cuando ya esté a tiempo completo. Ok. Luis Mauricio. Noé. Noé, Noé. Rosailda. Noé. Mario Ángel. Luz Angélica. Joanna Ruth. Present teacher. Joanna. Yes. Okay. Jose Alfredo. Jose Present Alfredo. Teacher. Okay. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. But, um, well, today uh, we finish unit three, right? And in today's class, we are going to be talking. Okay. In today's classes, we are going to be using idiomatic expressions. Remember, we already had a day for idiomatic expressions, and this is our second day to study idiomatic expressions. Let's see. I'm moving. Okay. 
-hmm. Okay, these were the first idiomatic expressions we, we studied the day before yesterday. Do you remember? Well, here we have the meaning, right? To yes. those idiomatic expressions. Let's see. Mm -hmm. My First stomach is so badly. What is the idiomatic expression that means that? My stomach is killing me. Okay, my stomach is killing me. Mm -hmm. To be sick. As sick as a dog. As sick as a dog. Okay. To relax. Take it easy, teacher. Yeah. Take, Take it easy. easy. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the other one? Under the Under weather. The too? Yeah. Not feeling well? Under the weather, too. Under the weather, too. Yes. In great condition. TikTok. Shape. In tip top shape. Mm -hmm. Don't have time to. Can't afford to. Yes. Many people have the same thing. There's, There's something, something going, around. going around. There is something going around. Very good. To phone the office to say you're sick. Calling sick. Calling sick. Okay. Okay. Those were the first idiomatic expressions we were using. Uh, today we will see another group of idiomatic expressions, and we're going to check <clears throat> some others that are not there in the manual that that you need to know. Okay. Now. Let's review yesterday's class where you had to uh, use phrasal verbs, remember? First, let's review matching, matching the phrasal verbs. Switch off. Switch off, okay. Clean? Clean up. Clean up. Cease. Up. Cease. Up. Turn. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. And. Collapse. 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 Okay. Can you say call off? Can you use that? Call off. Call off. No, it's not is it possible to say call off? Yes or no? No. No, are you sure? Yes. Yes, the meaning is cancel. cancel. The meaning cancel. is? Cancel. Cancel, uh-huh, exactly. That's the meaning, cancel, cancel. I'm going to cancel the meeting, yeah? So I'm going to call off the meeting. Okay. Teacher, Good. I have a question. Uh, you can use a uh, off or up uh, in in cualquier expresión o existe alguna regla? Mm, ya están las idiomatic expressions que existen. Por ejemplo, turn off, sí, vea. Can you say turn up? Is that possible? Turn up. Can you say turn up? Hmm? Yes or no? I, I, creería que sí, pero porque lo acabo de buscar. O sea, no sé si hay como alguna regla. 
Uh -huh. que, porque algunas sí son como comunes. Exactly. <coughs> Pero sí podemos decir turn up, ¿verdad? ¿Qué significa turn up, Adriana? Aparecer. Uh -huh. Ok. Can we say clean off? Can we say clean off? Is it possible? Yes or no? Possible, teacher. It's not possible, right? It's not possible. I'm going to clean off mm -mm. that. I'm going to clean up in that case. Yes, it's possible. Okay. Vashapos. Now, let's complete the exercise. Can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this bolt. Mm -hmm. What about number two? Number two. The, this workshop is very dirty. Let's clean up this place. Let's clean up. Very good. Clean up. Mm -hmm. What about the next one? Remember to switch off. To switch, switch off. off. Exactly. Remember to switch off. What is switch off? What is desconectar. Desconectar. Apagar y desconectar. Very good. I hope the computer won. Turn off. Turn off again. Okay. I hope the computer won't turn off again. If you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will seize up. up. Seize up. They will seize up. The printer just stopped working. We need to call up, call up a technician. Any question here? No. Any question? Was that easy for you? Yes. Okay. Very good. Call up, turn off, is that switch off, clean up. Okay, great. Keep them in mind, right? Okay, now let's, we're going to work in groups in this activity. Here, we are going to talk about tips on how to organize a preventive maintenance plan. So go to your manual, let me tell you the page. This is Page 37, page 37. You're going to read, you have three steps. Read the three steps on how to organize a preventive maintenance plan. Read the three steps and then you will answer these questions, okay? And of course, be ready also to explain to the rest of the group what you understood about these steps. Are you ready for that? Yes? Yes. Page 37, 37. Okay. Vamos a ver. Uy, hoy only, only 17 today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you in. I'm going to send you in groups of three. Vamos a ver, Grace, Michelle, Joanna, Kevin, Diego, Noé, Rosa, Hilda, 
Claudia Carolina, Edwin Jonathan. Claudia Carolina es. Sí, ¿verdad? Claudia teacher. Carolina, are you here? Yeah. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Okay, perfect. Karen, Karen, and Carla. Me debe todas las que van con K. Adriana, José Alfredo, Andús, Angélica, Andén, Carolina, David, Marina. Okay, va, allá vamos. Remember, read the information, take turns reading the information, and then you answer the questions. Ready? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Join, join. Try to join. Teacher, um, we are going to read and answer the question page 37. Exactly. Okay, I'm going to do it. Before you means to organize your preventive maintenance plan, you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include Grace here, yeah. Mm, sí, teacher, es que justamente cuando iba a meternos a los grupos, me entró una llamada de trabajo. Oh. Tuve que contestar primero. Okay. Antes de entrar, pero ya estoy aquí. No estoy, diga. Entonces, Ay, no yo estoy. quisiera. Sí, sí. Vaya, digo que hay que leer el, el cuadrito de lo primero y luego responder las cinco preguntas, ¿verdad? Exacto. Ok. No sé si quiere que comience, compañera, o comienza usted. Quiere comience. Ok. Step one: Get the right people on board. Before you've been begging to organize your preventive organize. maintenance, ¿cómo? Organize, organize, before you be Ay, perdón. Organize. organize, organize your preventive maintenance plan. You need to have the right people on board with the plan. I include to top man, Ay, no me acuerdo cómo se pronuncia la palabra, teacher. Mainament. Maintenance. The maintenance? Main. No, Main. no, no. En la segunda, include management. Manage. Management. Mm -hmm. Manage, management. Management. Maintenance managers. Maintenance technicians and any others staff who understand the way your system operates. Yep. Get up today. So you can get important uh, feedback as you go. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, intento yo ahorita. Okay. Using your task forces input. Set goals. Ah, perdón. El título faltó. Set goals for your preventive maintenance. maintenance. Hello. ¿Quiénes están por aquí? Only me. ¿No, en serio? ¿Qué pasó con la gente que le mandé? Uh, Jonathan. Ah, Jonathan. Vaya, ya me la llevo. Entonces, Claudia. Bien. Yeah. Vamos a Mm -hmm. 
inventory, inventory, the equipment and assets. Go through to facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering including in your preventive maintenance plans. Tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list all of the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive mining software program. Okay. Hay muchas palabras que desconozco la pronunciación. Igual el significado. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, um, uh, the first paragraph. Uh, espérame, espérame. Son varias. No, no. Craftsman. Craftsman. Algo así. Classmate. ¿A dónde? No. Vamos a ver. Uh, craft, oh, craftsman. Yes, craftsman. 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 What's the mean, teacher? Craftsmen eh, serían como those type of, of men that do a lot of uh, things with their hands. But I'm going to give you a, a right definition. Let me. Okay. Ay, hay un juego, mire. <laughs> <laughs> A person who is skilled, uh -huh, cabal. a person who is skilled in a particular craft. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Example, if you like, what do manualidades, o sea, son bien creativos con la madera, con cualquier cosa. Okay, trust me. En mana, management, viene a ser así como tipo manager o... Manager. Ok. Manager. The manager, right? Management. Dice, include top management. No sé si se pronuncia así, management. No, manager. Ah. Where, where are you? Siempre en el mismo, en el mismo párrafo, pero en la segunda... Management. Línea. Management. Manage, management. 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 Okay, me están llamando ya voy. Hi teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. I have a question. Tell me. The answer is have to be only a true or false or you want a long answer? Hmm. Because um, it's like having the appropriate people on board is not relevant. That's false. Okay, you that's need the appropriate. Uh -huh. You can put there two false and then you explain why you say why it's false. And why you say it is false. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So the first one is false because in the first step say, that you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Yes. I'm coming back. Crash, crash and members of production and production control. Más o menos así? Yes. Yes. You may not need input from each of these people at every step on the... On the process of the process, but it's important to have them on board and uh, kept or kept. Kept. Kitab. 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 To, to date. So you can get import feedback as you go. Creo que ya lo leí un poquito más rápido. Okay, okay. Pero con más errores. Okay. Right, uh, okay. Set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. 
using your task force forces in book set goals you have to achieve using the system begin training your task force in the computer skill they need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. Teacher. Hola. Uh, donde dice, on the computer skill, they, they uh, what's the mean, this? They, no, no sé cómo se pronuncia tampoco. They need, they need, skill, they, they need. Está con apóstrofe, creería yo que. Necesitarán I mean, the, daily skills they'll need. They'll. That's they'll. The, the contraction of they with will. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. they'll. They'll. They'll, they'll need. When preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. Okay. okay. Okay, number three is, bueno, step three, inventory the equipment and assets. Assets. Go, assets. assets, okay. Mm -hmm. assets. assets, okay. Assets. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering, including in your preventive maintenance plan, tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for, record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize it where, with the assistance of a good preventive mining software program. Okay. With the maintenance, maintenance. 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 Software program. Maintenance. Maintenance. Maintenance software program. Teacher, the task forces is groups of the world. Task forces. Task forces. Where are you? Uh, step two. Task forces input. Forces input. The task forces input. Set goals. What is an input? What is input? Uh, hmm? El input es algo que puede venir de fuera o de dentro. Right? And what is forces? Como fuerzas. Ajá, exacto. So the task forces. What you have to do is to use those task forces for what? Fuerzas de adentro. Uh -huh. Exactly. Set goals. Set goals. Objetivos. Uh -huh. Objetivos. Exactly. The goals that you hope to achieve, right? What are the goals that you hope to achieve using that system? What is a task? What is a task? ¿Quién me dice? What is a task? Eh, grupo. Es como un grupo de actividades, right? Sí. The task forces are like a group of activities that you use like to input to, 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 to how can I say? To, to help you get like the, the energy to continue and to set your goals. Mm -hmm. Then you begin training your task force. 
Aquí podemos usar también como task force el grupo de gente asignada para cierto task. ¿Verdad? Ese podría ser también task force. It's like the workforce. Ajá. It's a temporary group on the one leader for the purpose of accomplishing a, defin a, defin a definite objective. Esa es la task force. ¿Sí? The group of people, that's the group of people that have a leader. And that leader is the one that is going to direct them into one direction to get the objective. Yes? What is input? We said the power, right? The, or the energy that you put for doing something. Mm -hmm. And when you're talking about production, that can be labor, yeah? can be also taken as a component of production. I don't know if that is uh, clear for you there. Yes, teacher. Lo he comprendido, pero para expresarlo en inglés no. Pero sí, ¿verdad? Ya, ya le hallaron. Sí. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Es que sí, hay, hay un montón de, de frases que son totalmente nuevas. Y son como muy técnicas también, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto. Exacto. Any other question? Seguiremos revisando. Mm -hmm. eh. Son activos. Ajá, los activos. Así ¿Se acuerdan que hablábamos el curso pasado de los activos, los pasivos? Pero aquí se refiere más que todo al recurso humano, ¿verdad, teacher? Lo que puede aportar a alguien. Vamos no. a ver el contexto. No. Inventory equipment. Inventory and equipment is considered include the, the assets. Ajá, uh -huh. perdón, sí, en el paso 3. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What is the inventory? Inventario. Inventario. Equipment. El, el equipo. Uh -huh. Es inventariar el equipo y los activos, dice. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. Through your facility and inventory. Go through your facility and inventory, all the equipment you're considering, including in your preventive maintenance plan. Remember that we're talking about a preventive maintenance plan, right? That's a how to organize. <clears throat> and remember that when you have a, a preventive maintenance plan, you also have to think about the equipment, about all the, 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 the possibilities of the company surviving or a, coming with the purpose of a company is making money, not losing money, right? So that's why it says you're considering including in your preventing maintenance plans, tagging the equipment as you go, create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Los assets, or when we talk about the actives or the activos, eh, are not the money, right? What is it? Edwin? Aquí está Edwin, no Diego, eh, Berta. Yes. What are the things that you, that you count in the assets? ¿Cuáles son los activos? Vamos a ver. Mm. The building, the house. The building, the mobiliario. Mobiliario. No equipment. Sí. No equipment, but mobiliario. So all the, the things that you have in the company that you don't see. Uh, there are no money, right? But they are for prop, uh, property of the company. 
And then it says, uh, you have responsibility for, right? So all the things, okay, this chair is my responsibility. Then I count it. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organized with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. So it's, uh, the purpose here is to keep as part of the preventive maintenance plan, keep a control of all the things that the company has. Okay? What are all the belongings? What are, that's why we're talking about an inventory, right? So you have a list of all the things that the company has. Probably including the year when these things were bought, in what condition they are, if they are new, if they are old, but you can say, you take into account all those things. Okay, now let's go to the questions that you have. You have five questions that you're going to answer related to the reading, right? Okay. Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Are you done? Are you done? We are finished, teacher. Uh -huh. Are you done? Yes. Okay, perfect. Sí, pues sí, aquí está David. Sí, aquí está. está. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No me abandone. <laughs> <laughs> aquí está David, muy bien. Okay. Vaya. Pues sí, ¿verdad? Sí, yo, tengo, yo tengo una pregunta. Tell me, David. Eh, fíjese que haciendo las tareas Ajá. para no atrasarme y no quedar mal con usted, en la número 14, en la que corresponde para el día de hoy, creo que esa es, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, ahí en la literal número 2 no me da como para responder, me da como error. No es, la que, no es la que estaban presentando de las idiomatic expression. Digo, de, de, del present perfect. No, esta es teacher de selección múltiple. Ah, la de idiomatic expressions, ¿verdad? Hay una que no da. Es cierto. Ajá. Ay, es cierto, es cierto. Yo ya las, yo ya las, ¿cómo? No, ya las reporté. Yo ya las reporté para que la arreglen, pero... Veo que entonces no la han arreglado. Ya okay. la voy a reportar de regla. Porque no, ajá, yo la, report, yo la reporté antier, si no me equivoco, que me dijo Luis Edgardo que estaba ese problema. Pues me dijo, mire, ticha, yo ya iba adelantando y está este problema, no me acepta. Y ahí lo reporté, pero no sé qué pasó. No, no. Ya lo voy a reportar de nuevo. Que, que vean que. Que qué pasa. Que qué pasa. Que, que al parecer yo, yo probé. Verdad yo probé con todas las respuestas. Eh, y al parecer. No acepta ninguna. Ajá ninguna. Yo probé también con eso. No acepta ninguna porque no tiene opción de respuesta. Entonces yo eh, lo voy a volver a reportar. Eh, ¿qué, número, ¿Qué número dijo que es de IP, la tarea 3? 14. La 14. Ah, va. Gracias. Para que no se vaya a matar sí, la cabeza. Pa, sí, sí. <risa> sí. Va. Ya, 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 ya le puse ahí que lo reporto de nuevo porque no ha sido arreglado, ¿verdad? Para que. Pues sí, sí, no está para hoy, pero que que para la próxima semana se los arreglen para que no vaya, no les va a quedar 100 allí. No, no va a quedar 100. Uh -huh. Que nos pongan 200, digo. <ríe> Di cabal. Sí, porque está ese problema, cabal. 
Vaya, me lo llevo, chicos. Ya terminaron, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Eso lo hacemos nosotros. Eso. Let's go, let's go. Ok. Ok, vamos, vamos a ver. Thirteen, we're still missing a couple of people. Uh -huh. Ok, hoy pues sí. Muy bien. Vaya. According to the reading, according to the reading, we're answering this. Having the appropriate people on board is not relevant. What do you think? Is that true or false? False. 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 Why do you say it's false? Because it's very important. Why? It's really, it's really important. Very... Why is it really important? Hmm? Why because can't... you need people who understand the system uh -huh. to help to help you with the plan. Okay. People who know what to do in mm -hmm. a situation, right? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number two is it is important to include people who understand of maintenance. It's true. True. Of uh, course it is. Why? Why? Why is it important? Yes, of course. Uh, the people from uh, who understand uh, the people from data processing, accounting, crossmen uh, understand the production. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about a making or preparing a maintenance plan when you're preparing a maintenance plan is it important to include people who understand of maintenance yes why because the people uh, can get important feedback yes so imagine if you take only uh, people who just see, ah, that's okay. <laughs> but there may be a problem that is meaning that you cannot see. But if you understand about that situation, you will foresee that look at the future and guess that that in the future will be a big problem. Right? That's why it is very important to know or to have people who understand that if something small is not repaired, a small problem is not repaired today, tomorrow that can be very big, right? And it will be, of course, more expensive for the company. What about number three? Setting goals is an option for the PMP. What is PMP? Preventive maintenance plan. Preventive maintenance plan. Preventive maintenance plan. Setting goals is an option. So, say, I think you have no, no. Is that an option? 
or it's an obligation? It's necessary, teacher. It's necessary. Mm -hmm. So it's not an option, right? Setting goals is not an option. So it's like, uh, ¿Quieres o no quieres hacer, este, proponerse goals? No, that's, you have to. You need to. What happens if you do not set goals? Hmm? You don't have a direction. <laughs> yes. Okay, for better results, creating a list of the assets is important. Yes or no? For no. better results, creating a list of the assets is important. It's true. That's true. Why, David? Because the inventory, the, the equipment. Exactly. The company should keep an inventory, right? Of everything, everything tangible in the company. Very good. According to the article, to carry out the PMP, a software is mandatory. To carry out the PMP, a software is mandatory? Yes or no? No, it's false. Mm -hmm. What do they say about keeping that in a software? It's much easier. It could be an option and ah, it could be much easier at the process. Uh-huh, exactly. If you want to facilitate the job, ah, use software. But it's not like you have to use software, right? So it's an option. But if you want to do it faster, if you want to do it easier, use a software. Okay? Very good. Questions here. Questions? No questions. No, we don't have questions. No, teacher. <laughs> so like, no. Okay. Yo los voy a mandar a trabajar a ustedes. Fíjense. I have a group of... Uh, a group of idiomatic expressions here that I'm going to send you to do. But first, let's look at this ones. Check. Read the definitions of these useful uh, idioms, right? Wiped out. What is wiped out? You feel, you say, oof, I feel really wiped out today. It's Friday, right? So that means I feel really tired. Tired, really tired. We say estoy barrido, right? Estoy muerto, estoy acabado. Yeah, those are the expressions we use in Spanish. Okay, to have a lot of one's plate. <laughs> so you say, wow, today I have a lot of one's plate. Or a lot of my plate. <laughs> That means I have a lot to do, yeah? To settle down. What is to settle down? To settle calm down. Calm down. Mm -hmm. Hang in there. What is hang in there? Be patient. Exactly. Hang in there is to be patient mm -hmm. to keep one's head above water hey but at the end we could keep our heads above water so what does it mean to survive 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 yes to scale back one's hours what is to scale back one's hours? Reduce the number mm -hmm. hours of one works. Uh-huh. So you scale back. 
sea, reduce, right? Stress out. Under, under very anxious. Severe, under strain, or very uh -huh. anxious. Sleep one's mind. What is sleep one's mind? Be forgotten. Be forgotten. Oh, I sleep my mind. Se me olvido. <laughs> right? Oh, oh. Hey, did you bring the, the, the ice? Yeah. Did you bring the ice? Oh, no. I, it slipped my mind. Se me fue. Right? That's what we say in Spanish. Se me fue. Se me escapó. Right? I forgot. I forgot it. Okay. Any question here? No question. No, teacher. Everything clear. Okay. Perfect. Now, what are you going to do with this? It's your turn to work with your partners and be very creative. But before you do that, hey, hey, you see, you're going to choose three idiomatic expressions or three idioms from the box above and write a sentence per each. Go around the classroom, it says, but you cannot go around the classroom. So I will be moving you jumping from one group to another group to share with your partners, okay? So you're going to choose at least three idiomatic expressions here and write sentences. You will write three sentences. You can use these idiomatic expressions or you can use idiomatic expressions that we learned the day before yesterday, right? Go ahead. I'm going to call attendance right now. You are on page 30, 30? Yes, teacher. Okay, ready. Yes. I'm going to let you think and I'm going to call attendance. Adriana Marcela. Adri. Present teacher. Analicia. No está Ana. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Pongas el nombre completo, Diego. Ok. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin René. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Luis Edgardo no está. Luis Mauricio. Luis Mauricio. Noé. Present teacher. Rosalinda. Present teacher. Vamos a ver una cosa. Ahí está.
Mario Ángel. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Marina. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Ok. José Alfredo no está, ¿verdad? Así está. José Alfredo, hello. No micrófono, José Alfredo. Recuerden que a mí me piden que ustedes me digan present. ¿Verdad? Okay, Basha. Ahí está. How are you doing with your sentences? Finished? Yes. I'm, I'm going to share. I'm going to share the screen again for you to see it. Tell me when you're ready. 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 Ready, ready. Ready, Joanna. Yes, ready. Belent. A ver, who else is ready? Me, teacher. Okay, excellent. Who wants to be the first one cheering? Me, if you want. Okay, perfect, John. Go ahead. Number one, John has many projects this month. He is stressed out. Number two, the students did not understand the class and the teacher have to hang in there and explain again. And the last one, I was studying all night. I'm whipped up. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Who wants to be the next one, Adriana? Okay, teacher. In your situation, you have to hang in there for take the best option. I really sleep once mine. Yesterday, I have to pay my bills. It finally, it's finally Friday. I whip it out. Okay. Yes, we whipped up. Definitely. Right, definitely we are whipped up. Okay, now who will be the next one? Next, next. Mm -hmm. Next, Rosie. Rosie, real, Rosie, Rosie. This year only one half. Okay, tell me what you have. You don't have the right to wipe it up someone's mind. Okay. Wiped out. Who wants to be the next one? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Diego. Diego, Diego, be my volunteer. Wait a minute. One minute. I have problem with my computer. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. Who will be my other volunteer?
Knowing. Knowing, knowing. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, my, my son just got home and whipped out. Mm -hmm. Solo esta, teacher. Only one. Yes. Okay. Who wants to tell me another one? It, me, teacher. Okay, cutting. Today was heavy at work and tired. Okay, uh -huh. to learn English, I had to be patient. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, it's not difficult. Yes. No. It's, it's complication. <laughs> it's more difficult to learn Spanish. Uh -huh. Ask the people who are learning Spanish and they will tell you, yes, it's horrible. Learning Spanish is very, very hard. Imagine. Ok. <risa> si lo sabremos nosotros que hablamos español, se imaginan los pobres que están aprendiendo español y que hablan cualquier otro idioma. It's very difficult. The Spanish is one of the most difficult languages. And we speak it. And we write it and we use it very well. <laughs> so you see, if you can do that, you can speak English. Vaya. Now, let's see who, one, one last volunteer. One last volunteer. Mm -hmm. Last, last, last. Karen Janetcha. Vamos a ver. Ha, ah, Claudia. Estoy buscando yo. Claudia, Carolina. Just I have two cents. Uh, the first, she leaves her room for an hour to count down. Uh -huh. You will have to hang it under until, until the rescue team comes. Mm -hmm. Just that. Okay, very good. We have to calm down. That's easy to use, right? Okay. Any questions? Any other questions here? Huh? No questions. Questions, questions? No question, teacher. Bye. We are going to move to the next exercise. Check. Here, we are going to write, remember we have been talking about maintenance plan and all those things. So what you're going to do is write a short paragraph about the common issues with machinery. What are the common issues that you can have as well? related to machinery or equipment, right? Because in some cases you will say, I don't use machinery, okay, but you use equipment. Okay, so you can say a common issues with machinery or equipment at the workplace. I'm going to send you... Carolina, ajá, sí, aquí estamos todos, todos. Vamos a mover a Edwin para que no esté solito. Lo dejaron solito, Edwin. Bueno, vamos a recrear estos grupos mejor. Teacher. Hoy. Yo en ese momento no me puedo, no, no puedo estar activa. Solamente puedo estar de oyente. Ah, pues ahí sople, les que escribir y que alguien escriba luz. 
Vamos a ver. Ajá. Es que ahorita tengo una reunión y no voy a poder estar muy activa, entonces. Ah, ok, ok. Ah. Yo creí que iba manejando ahorita, ¿no? No, no, no. Teacher, igual yo me está fallando el internet. O sea, así de escucho, pero... Le está lloviendo, y yo que le está lloviendo ya en su casa, ¿verdad? Algo, como que quiere llover, no sé, pero me está fallando el internet. Ok. Vaya, dejo a Joana, José Alfredo, Karen, Estefan y Carla, Lorena. Ahí van cuatro. Carolina, Grace, Jonathan, Anne, Marina. Adriana, Claudia, David, and Karen. Diego, Kevin, and René y Noé Carrillo. Este, Diego. Yes, I'm here. Ah, ok, Noé. Noé, 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 Noé. Yes, teacher. Noé no está, no está, no está perdido. No, ¿verdad? No, no. En mi casa. Ah, vaya, mire qué galán. Vaya. Ahí está. Number five, Edwin. Este es el que tengo que mandar a alguien. José Alfredo. Ah, aquí me voy a llevar a, a José Alfredo. Al último, creo que es el último. Vaya. Para que estén Rosa Hilda y José Alfredo y que les soplen la respuesta a Edwin y Luz Angélica. Yo creo que los he dejado bonitos. Bye, let's go. Remember, what you're going to do right now is write a short paragraph about the common issues with machinery or equipment, right? At your workplace. That's what you're going to do. Ready? Yes, ready. Okay. Yes. Un párrafo, five lines is okay. Okay? Five lines is okay. It's valid. There you go. Join, join. ¿Qué dijo? <laughs> Teacher, a only a common paragraph or we have to use a uh, special words or something or only explaining? It's a paragraph. You have to make, wait, espéreme que estoy quedando ronca. <clears throat> Uy, estoy cambiando la voz. Soy adolescente. But you're going to write a paragraph. Think about the common issues. What is issue? Okay. The yes. common problems. The problems, yes. Uh -huh. What are the common problems that you have in your company? Ahí hablan de la tos, ¿verdad? What are the common problems that you have related to machinery or equipment? Okay. Are you Just Mezclen, mezclen, le iba a decir. Mix, <laughs> mix, right? About the two places. Y si okay. es que les logra de contar allá, no, también lo agrega. Ok, entonces los problemas más comunes con las máquinas o computadoras o, o con lo que nosotros usemos en el trabajo. Uh -huh. Exacto. Ok, perfecto. Thank you. A ver, Carlita. In my company, only uh, only there are computers. Uh, only computers. Only computers. Oh, I have a lot of machineries. I have lipo lasers, ultra cavitaciones, uh, one calls Velox, one calls Creopolysis, one calls vacuum therapy, one calls. I I have a lot. We have a lot to talk. Okay. 
the most common issues um okay the most common issues uh, with the lipo laser for example it's that we have to constantly um, um repair the how do you say cables the the cables the cables, cables. because they get um se ponen duros and y se rompen they get they seize up se acuerda uh, they, oh, they seize up <laughs> with the oil that the girl that the the technicians use and and that's the most common issues with that maybe uh -huh. we are changing them like every two months or three months mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay new maintenance every two or three months maintenance. yes we have to change them every two or three months because they is up very very constantly but it's something that we can't hanging out because it have to happen because the the girls that use that machinery always are oils in their hands for the massage and so all the things. Mm -hmm. So and they that are oil damages. Yes, damages a lot of the machinery. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. So she yes. should wash her hands or clean. They can't because it's dangerous for their health. Because they they with the massage, they uh, their hands always are like hot they are or hot warm. All the time. Yes, mm -hmm. and they can't wash their hands. Wow, because they can have problems. Uh -huh, no, of course, with arthritis or something yes. like that later. Yes, I imagine. Wow. So that's a big situation then. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the most common, the most common issues. 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 It have to be the most common issues. The lipo laser. with the most common issues with the lipo laser machine is the the cables seize up mm -hmm. the, the cables seize up with the uh, with the oil that we use. The, uh -huh, with the oil that we use for the massage. For the massage. And the technician. We have the, oh, the maintenance person have to be. Mm -hmm. The maintenance. The maintenance person. Or the uh -huh. the person in charge of the maintenance. No, the person in charge of the maintenance. Change them every two months. Mm -hmm. Changes. Changes. Changes them. Changes them every two or three months. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ah, ya tengo cuatro líneas ahí. Oh, yay! <laughs> Very good. Vaya, unas cuatro más, ya la hice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lo quiere doble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, we have a lot of uh, problems with a lot of machines. Wow. For example, we have one that calls nanofrequencia that 
we have the same problem because all machines have cables and the oil seeds up them and the eh, like I they are like um son como unos pads and that pads have like electrician uh, that it has makes your muscles are con se contraen los músculos contract yes that your muscles contract and make that you are doing abs wow. yes and the machinery is making the abs for you wow imagine uh, and that pads uh, for the time uh, lose their electricity and we have to change them too like every um, every six seven months for the use that we you have to clean you have mm -hmm. to change you have to change Uy. <laughs> oh my god <clears throat> we have to change that path every six months because wow. they lose the electricity aha uh -huh. mm -hmm. Imagine so. That's a big maintenance, the one that you have. Yes. To big maintenance. And what about Carla? No, no es Carla. ¿Quién la que está aquí? Sí, sí. Carla Loren. Carla, ya decía ahí. In, in, in my office, only there are computers, but in, in the in the other in the other works uh, i work in in construction mm -hmm. and there are many uh, many maquinaria pesada heavy machine heavy heavy machinery uh -huh. uh, the, the construction mm -hmm. and there are many problems because they fix uh, they fix uh, um, they fix the machinery that uh -huh. how, like how often do they have to do that And sometimes every day because it's a lot machinery. Wow, yeah, of course, right? One machinery every day, every month. But as you have a lot, you have to do it uh -huh. frequently. I see, I see. Bueno, las dejo para que terminen entonces. Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Carla, entonces. Hi, hi. ¿Cómo va? Hi, teacher. No, teacher. Only, only, eh, only tenemos. ¿Cómo se dice tenemos, teacher? Have. We only have. Oh, only yeah. have. In my work every day, turn turn on the computer. We we turn on. Póngale el subject. We turn on the computer. We turn on the computer. Sometimes the printer have a problem. Has It's problems. The printer. The printer. The printer. What happened uh -huh. to the printer? What happened? Uh, mm -hmm. How do you say no imprime? It doesn't print. Doesn't print. Uh, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't print. Doesn't print. Doesn't print. So sometimes it doesn't print at all. Y entonces ahí queríamos poner que es necesario call the maintenance. Ma, my, call the maintenance. Maintenance, maintenance employees o personal teacher. Personnel. You can personal. say the maintenance personnel. 
Penite. Doesn't print. You have to call them and what do they do? Yeah, hello. What do they do? Uh, in my case, call. Mm -hmm. Les uh -huh. So you call them and what do they uh, and what do you tell them? What do you tell them? Explain the situation about the about the printer. Uh -huh. Do they repair it in the moment? Uh, some in in the in the world sometimes, and sometimes uh, they call the setup. <laughs> uh -huh. They it's, call. It, they call the Xerox. What is that? Ah, the ones of the ink. Well, toner, verdad? Sí, yes. Uh -huh. So when do they get, well, do they have a special day to take the toner? <clears throat> or when you call them? Uh, I don't know, teacher. Cada cuanto. Ah, it depends. They use the 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 printer. Mm -hmm. So if you have been using it a lot, you will call them more often. I imagine. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. De aquí, teacher, ya no sabemos qué poner. Que ten tenemos que usar de de las eh, De, de, de la machinery que ustedes tienen. Uh -huh. Only the computer, teacher. Okay. And your partner the same? Yes. Okay, so you have computers, you have oh, a, a cell phone. Printer, cell phone. Uh huh. So uh, use the things that you have, right? <laughs> Uh -huh. eh, teacher, pero verdad que en este en este párrafo tenemos que usar este ay, lo que vimos en el recuadro de la página 38. Uh -huh. eh, no, 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 no. No, ahí me he confundido. Sí, no, 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 no. Ya después vamos a hacer un ejercicio con eso. Ahorita no. Ahorita no. Ahí solamente van a hablar de maintenance, de como lo del reading que hicieron antes, ¿se acuerda? Ah, ajá. ajá. Sí, no. Okay. Ah, no, eso sería meterlos en un lío mayor. El ejercicio anterior, sí, era de eso, este no. Uh -huh. Está bien. Thank you, teacher. Y no les complicamos la existencia. <risa> right. But no, you don't have to. Ok. Vaya, las dejo. Voy a ir a ver el otro grupo, a ver cómo van. Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Entonces podemos jugar para, para ya Navidad. Aunque incluso ya van a encontrar bastante Navidad. Ah. Bueno. <risa> Uy, qué rápido. <risa> eh, Ahora a las 12 de la noche del 31 de octubre. Quitan todos los Halloween y ya colocan todo en Navidad. Mm, bueno. <risa> y usted está en las bodegas, eh, por, por decirlo así, en las bodegas de distribución. Ajá. Yo estoy en la bodega internacional, es la principal. Yo le distribuyo a todos los centros de distribuciones nacionales. Mm. Y los nacionales le distribuyen a las tiendas. ¿Y en oh. dónde queda eso? Está aquí en American Park. Carretera o sea, aquí Santa usted está en Santa Ana. Ajá. Sí. Buena. Qué chivo. Y ahorita a veces no me puedo conectar. O le digo a Tiche que no estoy ahí porque nos estamos mudando a una bodega más grande. You haven't finished. No. Yes, yes, yes we finished. We... <laughs> With uh, the common issues that we describe are from David's workplace. Okay, what, what issues does he have in his company? 
I I talk about the leaf drop. Uh -huh. And the tires uh, of the the gas, no como como decía de gas. Gas. Desgaste. Como deterioro. Oh. Espérenme. Ay. Se me olvidó la palabra. Mm. Ya vamos a buscar en el dictionario. The deterioro de heat de tires. Ajá. And the, then the batteries and the. Mm. Is the to run quickly the because the operator mm, no usted en la el conector no no conecta bien la batería y se y lo desconecta y no carga bien la batería. Ajá. Uh -huh. Doesn't use rápido. the in the correct way the chargers, so the battery doesn't. Uh, complete the cycle. That would be like they use, they, be, they use, they use, we could say. Okay. Porque de gas te duerme, dice el dictionary. Okay. Yeah. So they use, we can say they use. Porque esas esa llantas, yo les comentaba a ellas que esas llantas no son de aire, sino que son sólidas. Oh. Entonces, se van como desgastando y... Ajá. Y we, ajá. So with the use, they are like wasting. Mm -hmm. Okay. How are you doing? Did you finish writing your paragraph? Yes, teacher. Okay. So I'm Adriana, like... entonces... No, perdón, teacher. Entonces no sé si le agregamos ahí donde decía... Por lo que está diciendo la teacher. Típico de operero das en respect de change cycles en the use. Por el uso también. Ah, uh -huh, the use. Ok, va, está bien, se lo agregamos entonces. Uh -huh. Ay, mire, aquí dejaron solo a Kevin y salieron todos. <risa> Niños. <risa> Ay, no. Bueno. How, what are you doing? How are you? Le estoy diciendo que hoy conviví con dos sobrinos míos que son nativos de Estados Unidos. Oh. Uno tiene seis. Bueno, el niño tiene siete y la niña tiene cinco. Do they speak Spanish? Mm, lo entienden, pero no lo hablan. Pero sí, este digo, ¿por qué tan pequeños y qué tan fácil se les oye? Sí. Y mi hijo, mi hijo en medio de ellos. Más water, please. Y así, hablando español con él. Yo, la mejor edad para un niño para aprender. Definitely. Definitely. How old are they? Six. Uh, five and seven. Five and seven, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. That's perfect uh, age for them to practice and to learn. Yes. Still 11 years old is good. When you're 11, your mind is fresh. You can remember everything. Mm -hmm. But my age is more difficult. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's true. Okay. Es que los niños no tienen pena, teacher, porque mi hijo, imagínese, o sea, cero pena, él queriendo hablar igual que ellos. Mm -hmm. Sí, the thing is that as uh, they do it for imitation, so they see, they see the others talking and they want to do the same. Mm -hmm. But with them, it works better in presence, like face to face, sí. because they feel more free. Right. Sí. Digo yo, algún día seré como esos niños. <laughs> Ay, yes. ¿Cómo están? Okay. Finished. Finished. Are you out now? Yes. Finish, finish. Yes. Solo puede revisarlo y ver 
¿qué tal? Claro, claro. Solo que no lo hemos escrito, lo leo. Ajá. Uh -huh. In my workplace, there is no machinery, only equipment. Some common uses, use, ah, issues. Printer in problems due to energy fluctuation equipment is constantly damaged. Damage, sure, damage. In the workplace of Jose Alfredo, some common issues are voltage problems, anivers an, problems, the some the Ani, can you repeat that word? Anives, anives problems, como anives. Uh -huh. Aniven. Es como de, problemas de desnivel. Oh, oh ok, ok, ok. Aniven problems. The sum the customer has energy fluctuation. Mm -hmm. It's all. Ok, yeah, that's good. Energy. No electricity today. You won't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hoy no les vamos a dar electricidad. No, teacher, una vez pasó que toda la mañana no había luz y el administrativo estaba estresado. Yeah, no, it's terrible. It's terrible. For example, if you tell me, okay, there is no electricity. I'm like, what? Yeah? How am I going to connect? How am I going to do all the things? Because the thing is that now everything is done in the computer. And if there, if there is no electricity and there is no internet, That's a caos, total caos. Y sucede cuando más trabajo hay. Exactly. <laughs> Casualidad. Exactly. That's true. You have a lot to do while the electricity goes up. There is no internet. Whatever can happen, right? Whatever. Batch. Bueno, me lo llevo entonces. Ok, ok. Finish, you're, uh, you're ready. Let's go. Vamos a ver. Coming, coming. Mm -hmm. Who will be my first volunteer cheat, uh, cheating, not cheating, not cheering. <laughs> uh -huh. Volunteers. No han venido todavía los volunteers. No, no, yes. Se han quedado allá perdidos al otro lado. Uh -huh. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. Vamos sí, a venir. Volunteer o victim. Vamos en orden, pues. Group number one, Joanna, Karen, Stephanie, and Carla, Lorena. Go ahead. Ay, that's not fair. Ay. Okay. Siempre, siempre la manda al uno el, el <laughs> Okay, I'm going to read. The common issues with the lipo laser machine at my work is that the cable sees up with the oil that we use for the massage. And the person in charge of the maintenance changed, changed them every two or three months. Que Carlita lea el de ella. Carlita. Vaya, Carlita. Carlita. In my office, the common issues with the computers is Have to be updates every week. What's the, what's the problem there? 
Uh, the machine is very. Uh, the machines, uh, the, the, the computer of Carlita needs uh, updates every week. Every week. Every and, week. Oh, and you cannot program it? Uh, because uh, need to... To update. Update our Windows 11. Aha, uh -huh. but you cannot program. So it makes that later, not every week. Yes, 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 I can, but uh, sometimes we need the update. Wow, imagine. So that is a waste of time. Yes. Because you cannot do anything while, while it is updating. But the question, does it update quickly or how long does it take it? No long. How, how, how much time? How much? Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in, in Sunday, no, on Monday, uh, all, all morning, all morning. morning. Wow. Really? <laughs> yeah. But but why? If you upload, uh, I mean, if you do it every single week, it shouldn't take long. No, uh, I will the say other, the other times are is, is uh, maybe fifteen minutes, but the. Ah. The last so it means that not all the time will take that amount. No, only no only this time. Oh, I see. Yeah, because if no imagine. <laughs> and I have and I had a lot of work. Uh -huh. Wow. Bacha. Let's see who will be the next one, Carlita. La vamos yeah. a dejar que escojan. <laughs> ¿Por grupo o por persona? Escoja una persona y ahí se va el grupo. Diego. Diego. Y los compañeros. Sí. Oh. Okay, okay, teacher. <laughs> okay. No, usted va a leer o leo yo. Uh, usted. Okay. 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 Because it's about the noise work. Okay. In the noise work, operate with copier, printer, washing machine, and aluminum printer. Mm -hmm. And the most common issues are the copier ham, ham or jam, ham, ham the paper. Jams. The pre, jams. jams. The jams. paper. Jams. Lo traba, okay. Like yes. when you say there is yes. a traffic jam. Yes. Okay. Jam. The printer is, it doesn't ink. The washing machine is stopped con continuously. And the aluminum printer, it doesn't turn on. Noe has to work with, the, with these issues daily. Whoever Noe calls the equipment maintenance very often. Often. Okay. Okay, teacher. Any other problem that you have over there in your company related to the machine? No. Okay. No. No. Le pegue al niño, cubichito. Ah. Okay, let's see who will be the next one. Mm. Noé? O Diego? Chus? Chus? No, chus. Who? Uh. 
will be the next one. Who? 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 Let me see. Uh, Grace Mitchell. Who? Grace. Grace. By a Grace. Grace. Grace Mitchell. Grace Mitchell. Go ahead. Señorita Grace. No está Grace. Grace, Grace, Grace. Ah, pues no está. Entonces Chus. Adriana. Adriana. Vaya Adriana. O quien estaba en el grupo de Grace, porque se nos perdió. Ahí estaba. Ahí está. No quiere contestar. Grace. Grace, 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 se nos fue. No, ahí está. Who was in Grace Group? Let me see, Carolina. Vane. Marina. Ah, verdad, ahí está. <laughs> Ajá, que los encontramos. In our case, este, in the company, every day we turn the turn on the computer, but sometimes the printer has a problem. For example, it doesn't print. Um, it's necessary call the maintenance personnel. Mm -hmm. The maintenance personnel. Personnel. Um, finally, the company has preventive maintenance plan for the equipment only teacher what what is the plan that they have what do they do uh, the for the print the printer is a uh, uh, print uh, for page for a month how many uh, pages uh, uh, in, in the plant the uh -huh. Uh, is is the I teacher how do you say páginas pages, imprimir, sí, pages, pages for a month pero pero how many ah teacher I don't know but uh, finish the um, okay, cómo decirlo si se pasa del, de lo que se imprime ellos lo cobran por así decirlo Oh, uh -huh, but how many pages do you have to? In the plant, I don't know, teacher. Uh -huh. Because, if, for example, imagine if they tell you by a K, 50 pages in the month. In the month, mm -hmm. Pero muy poquito, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, si, exactly, I don't know. Uh, but I, este, I, I read the plant y, y sí sé qué es eso, un número de páginas por el mes. Oh. Pages for month. Okay. So mm -hmm. some pages eh, per month. A number of per pages. Month. And if you spend more pages, then you have to, to pay. The extra, let's say. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Marina. Who's next? Okay, Marina. teacher. Uh, let me see. Quiero ver. I know, sé, teacher. I don't know. Este. Ay, ay, vado. Ay, Es que creo que están de oyentes, teacher. Usted eh, dijo un nombre, oyentes. todos están agregados en grupo. Ah, bye. Este, <risa> <risa> Kevin, Kevin ah. René. Vamos a ver cuál era el grupo de Kevin, ya le digo. Así es que aquí estaba. 
Diego Noé. Diego y Noé estaba. Diego ya me presentó, ¿verdad, Diego? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ahí está salvado entonces. Adriana, entonces. Adriana, Adriana, ya. No, ¿verdad? No, no ese grupo falta. No, teacher. Ah, vaya. That was Adriana, Claudia, Carolina, David y Karen. Yes. Eh, the common issues that we, we are going to present, present, mm -hmm. presentar, present, present, present mm -hmm. is about, about David's workplace. One of the common issues is with the lift truck. Sometimes the batteries turn off quickly in most of the cases because the operators doesn't respect the charge cycles. Uh -huh. And that, uh, that is one of the most common issues. And other, in other cases, uh, the drivers hit the tires frequently in the corners of the racks, making the tires uh, deteriorate. De, or de, 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 deteriorate. And deteriorate. deteriorate. So uh, he expressed that uh, he worked in a bodega. How do you say? In a warehouse. In a warehouse. So uh, the lip tracks is uh, the, maqui the machinery that he must use in his work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who will be the next one? No more. Que no se me quede nadie porque después no este teacher me ignoró a mí. <laughs> teacher a mí no me dijo. Bye. In the, in the assignments, if you have uh, been going, checking the assignments exactly with the time, you have noticed that there are some idiomatic expressions that are totally new for you. Did you notice that? Sí. Or no? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. We don't. What, teacher? Can you repeat, please? Se dieron cuenta que hay unos eh, idiomatic expressions in the exercise that are new for you? Yes. Yes. Bye. Today I'm going to share with you uh, the meaning and some examples for you to feel more confident at the moment of uh, completing those exercises. Okay? Okay, thank you. I'm going to share. Ah, we have time. Da, 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 da. Donde está la presentation? Ah, ya. Esta es. I was looking for that. For another one. But check. Here we have one, you have miss the boat. What is miss the boat? To miss the chance or miss the your opportunity to do something. For example, if you say, well, um, Peter wanted to enter the drawing competition, but he wa it was, so he was too late to enter and he missed the boat. Yeah, so he missed the chance. Call it a day. Call it a day means stop doing something, especially working. Yeah, so example, after second heart attack, she decided it would be the best to follow her doctor's advice and call it a day, yeah? No tiene lógica si usted lo traduce. Remember what we said yesterday? That idiomatic expressions do not have a translation. See? Idiomatic expressions do not have a translation. 
Solo quiero ver uno que no lo encontré como tal. But sometimes, uh, no, uh, uh, no. Mm -hmm. but, okay, sometimes uh, you won't find the idiomatic expression in the sentence exactly the same way it is given. But check in that case, you give all the preamble, right? After second heart, second heart attack, she decided it would be best to follow her doctor's advice and call it a day. So, and stop doing, stop working. Yes. Now, any question here? Nope. No, yes. Okay. Now we have another one here, break a leg. Break a leg means good luck. Uh, for example, we use this expression when somebody is acting or doing a performance. If somebody is walking in the street, don't tell her, break a leg, right? Uh -uh. But if somebody is going on a play, they are going to perform, then you say break a leg. You don't say good luck, right? Break a leg shouted the stage director to his actors before the beginning of the play. Because if you are acting or singing or performing something, it, that's the expression. Instead of saying good luck, you say break a leg. Now, beat around the bush. I didn't find this expression that way. I found the devil is beating his wife. So I don't know if it has some relation or if it will be, make a difference, right? Raining whereas the sun is shining, right? The, the sun shower is said to occur when the devil is beating his wife in various German speaking countries. So that's what they call it. And when we have a dime a dozen, that means something very common and not having much value. A dime a dozen. So it's bien barato, verdad? What is a dime? Una mini monedita de a diez centavos de dólar. That's a dime. And if it is dime, a dime a dozen, that means it is less than a penny, right? So that's something very common. So it's very common and it doesn't have much value, right? Example, adventure and traveling based reality shows are not outdated and a dime a dozen. So they are not very important, right? Now, hit the sack. That means go to bed. Let's hit the sack. So today, after you finish the class, instead of saying good night, you can say, okay, good night, let's hit the sack, <laughs> right? Because that's a go to bed. I'm really tired after all that exercise, I'm going to hit the sack, right? Have you heard this? Hit the sack, no. It's not rocket science. Rocket science, the meaning, something very difficult to understand. It's not rocket science. In Spanish, we say, no es como soplar y hacer botellas, right? That's, a, that's the, um, the expression we can say that people use in Spanish to say that is not something, that is not easy, right? So something is be, something very difficult to understand is a rocket science. I have no idea. I have no idea, right? If you want to, without the contraction, I have no idea why Kelly can't make us press it. And it's not exactly rocket science, is it? So it's not too difficult to understand, right? Okay, make a long story short. I guess that's uh, that's easy, right? So you can, uh, uh, you know that one. Make a long story short means abbreviate, abbreviate a long explanation into a short one. 
cut a long story short, that example. Well, let's make this story shorter. And off the hook. That means free of a difficult situation. That's off the hook. Example, science, no, since it was his first offense and a minor one at that, he was let off the hook with just a warning. He was let off free, right? He was free of a difficult situation. I don't know if you have any questions there. No questions. No questions. Okay, perfect. Bye, Anna. Now you're ready, right? Now, I'll, now you're ready to go finish a, the exercises. Teacher, mm -hmm. the, uh, in the exercise number 14, I, I guess think. there is one that doesn't have any answer a point. That's right. That mm -hmm. has no answer pointed. I already did it. I tried with all the answers. The, the answer is switch off, but it's not. Mm -hmm. So I already sent a message last. I sent a message the day before yesterday. I already sent another message. I hope they pay attention to that. Okay. Mm -hmm because it is already pointed. Basha, tell me present. I'm going to call you now. Let's see. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Carolina. Present teacher. Carolina. Diego. Present. Edwin Muñoz. Present teacher. Grace Mitchell. Grace. Grace Mitchell. No, but no. Jonathan. Present teacher. Karen Elizabeth. No, Karen Janet. <laughs> Present teacher. Suena bonito. Si tiene una hija, si ponga. <laughs> Karen Janet. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Kevin. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Me pareció haberlo oído al principio, pero no, ¿verdad? No. Quizá fue ayer, tú estabas soñando yo. Eh, Luis Mauricio tampoco. Noé. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. No, ¿verdad? Tú ya no. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Luz Angélica. Roana. Present. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Marina. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Ok, nice. Hoy es nuestra clase número 15, Luis Mauricio. Bueno, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. No. <laughs> See you Monday. Ah, see, see you Monday. See you Monday. No, 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 no. See you Monday. Have a nice day. Bye bye. 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 How are you bye. Bye. See you. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Take care.